Hello, dear ones. It's Alice. I am of the stars. I thought I'd tell you about a scary astral story that went by the window of my imagination some years ago. I was vacationing and not here in Los Angeles, and I had a funny feeling that something awful might happen, you know, like a premonition of disaster. But I didn't know what. I figured it wasn't really going to happen, but to be on the safe side, it might be good to put some money in a safe deposit box. Now, I found out since then that putting money in a safe deposit box is a very bad idea. It's not a very safe thing to do. But back then I thought, you know, I'll put in a little money into a safe deposit box and leave it there in case the worst happens and at least I'll have a little cash, right? And so time went by, quite some amount of time went by and I was getting near the end of my vacation and I had this astral dream. I dreamt that uh, a police officer um, who was crooked um, wanted to, um, to send me to jail for interfering with, uh, or potentially interfering with a drug operation in that town. Now, I don't know that there are drug operations in that town. In fact, I don't think there are, but maybe it was in a different town and I just received the dream about it and it's happening elsewhere. And that's frequently the case. But so anyway, the dream kind of terrified me because in the dream, this police officer went to my bank, you know, it has to be personal, and took the money out of my uh, safe deposit box and substituted marked counterfeit bills. And so, um, so I had another premonition. <laughs> and so I went back to the bank and uh, took the money out of the safe deposit bank and gave it back to the bank just there and then. So the money never left the bank and so they credited it to my account. So if the money, uh, was counterfeit, which seems unlikely. I was probably pegging on somebody else's scary astral story. But let's say the money was counterfeit, then I guess the bank bore the brunt of it. And so, um, I don't know what a bank would do in a situation like that. That would be a tough one because it would be stuck with however much in counterfeit bills uh, that were basically the, the responsibility of a police officer who, officer who was laundering money for the drug operation that he was supposed to be preventing there in that town. Uh, so apocryphal, so this, may, this story may be, uh, I think we should look out for situations like that all across America as times are tough and people are resorting to all kinds of things in order to make ends meet. That's my thought. So the takeaway is uh, let the banks be careful as to what's happening. Maybe they could develop guidelines prior to something like that happening and uh, to make sure that they don't get stuck holding the bag. All right, y'all. I know this is a weird one. Y'all take care, and welcome to February 2020. It's looking out to be a really wonderful year in terms of soul clearing. I think it's going to be great.